With more and more connected devices at home relying on the Wi-Fi, a strong internet connection has never been more important. However, the best way to get a strong Wi-Fi connection throughout the home is to have a wired system. And in this series of videos, we're going to look at home networking. This is a golden opportunity to upsell into a rewire or as a standalone electrical installation in order that you can offer to customers an improved internet access throughout the home. We're going to look at the cabling system, including their terminations. In this case, we're going to use CAT6 cable and how we take the connections from the back of our router to the points within the installation. One benefit of a home networking system I've experienced is I've stopped hearing the words, it's lagging dad, it's lagging dad, as the Wi-Fi causes issues with the games console. The games console now has a hardwired internet connection and all those problems seem to have gone away. With more and more of us considering working from home or are working from home, and I've set aside this area in my own house for a PC, having a reliable internet connection to the computer is vitally important. The best way to do that is to have a data point, fixed wiring, and a hardwired connection to the home PC. In this series, we're also going to look at the benefits of using power over Ethernet via a switch in order that you can power things such as wireless access plates. We'll take a look at the tender data points, which has fixed wiring internet in it and an RJ45 connection out of it, but also note the flashing light. This plate itself also is a Wi-Fi access point, improving the Wi-Fi in this area. To help explain in further detail the aspects of the home networking system I've got here in my installation, plus some more features, we've built a rig back at the studios. Let's cut back there now and have a look at that rig. So isn't that a fantastic rig? I built. So what are you up to today then Gordon? <laughs> okay Gary, so we're going to look at this fantastic rig you've built but we'll start where home networking starts, where that connection comes into the house and usually through your internet hub. In this case we've got a BT one here. Yeah. A lot of people don't realise on the back there's four yellow sockets or the yellow on the BT one, there could be a different colour on different companies routers. Um, so usually labelled up uh, as Ethernet and from these uh, plugs here you can plug other networking equipment in so you could plug your PC direct into there you could plug your games console direct into there so therefore we're getting hard internet connections rather than using the Wi-Fi yeah and as you said in the intro the easiest way to improve your Wi-Fi is to get some of that equipment that takes loads of data off the Wi-Fi network and onto a hardwired system. So who better to explain the rig that I built than you Gordon so what we got well you're following good instructions Gary so what you've created here, Gary, is a setup that you might expect to build in a residential home. And this is the rig we're going to be using throughout this series of videos. But what you've got at the receiving end, so the room where you want to put the device, you want to connect to the internet, are these wall plates, RJ45 wall plates. And all of these are wired back a cable from each one to an individual socket on this patch panel that we've created here from these Euro module components. I noticed you've got some switches there as well. They look rather complicated. What are they going to be doing? Thankfully, they're nothing to do that anyone should ever need some of these. We've done these, Gary, to replicate some faults. So when we're testing our CAT6 cables, we're actually going to be able to simulate some faults and show what happens to the test equipment when doing that? Yeah, and we're assuming you got them perfect the first time around, so I've had to replicate the faults just to, to demonstrate them. So it looks like we've put quite a few sockets in there, Gordon. What's the thinking behind that? Okay, well, my top tip, wherever you put the, the hub, with all these data points come together you also need lots of <laughs> lots of regular power sockets to plug devices into so your router and uh, other networking devices that build up as you build up a home network so first fix would give us the cat6 cables would install as normal as part of our first fix and then obviously all the stuff we're seeing in front of us would be introduced at second fix how is the internet going to get into our system now then okay so it's really quite simple just think of it like you used to do back in the days of telephone extensions so you have your, um, here's our four ethernet ports on the back of our router. It's quite simple. Plug in there and then obviously these patch panels link to rooms. So I'm then gonna plug, say if I want to take this out to say a bedroom, I plug in there and then just replicate the process. So I've now got a hardwired internet connection to those face plates in the rooms within the installation now. Yeah, and then obviously at the other end, your device to plug in, it's just a case of quite simply Plug in and then plug this into the back of a smart TV or a games console or anything else that you might want to. And then we've got to. hard internet, reliable connections within each of those rooms. Rock solid internet connection. We also said about improving the Wi-Fi in those areas. What in the series of videos are we going to look at to do that? Okay, so in this one we're going to look at this clever little device here that's hidden inside this outlet plate. And this device here is wired, hardwired to our internet router. 
but the device itself actually creates its own wireless network so you could even have a dedicated wireless network in particular rooms of the house all oh, right that's really good for maybe for like guest rooms and things like that yeah, yeah you might want to set up a guest network you might own an office where you might have guests in there or you might want to if you want to be really technical have a dedicated wireless network for a child's network that you may want to disconnect <laughs> at some point in time when you want to when you actually want to get them to bed that's a really good system however there's only four rj45 connectors there in the back of the rear what if i needed more than four points within the installation okay then you need to some, install something called a switch so here's a, a little net gear one we found here so what this will do is take an output from your home hub you go into the switch and then you've gained an additional four outputs there. So that gives us seven in total, the three in the back of the router and the others? Yeah, I mean, these, these come in masses of ways. You can go, yeah, eight, 16, 24, um, but obviously you only need a connection to each room that you're using. You don't need to patch in um, sockets that you're not actually using with a connection on the other end. Okay, that makes sense. We're also going to look at the terminating of CAT6 cable. We're going to look at the through RJ45Ns, as well as the Ideal Industries crimping tool. We're going to look at a new range of data plates from Crabtree in their Instinct range, as well as the patch app and go in order to test our network. What else are we going to look at, Gordon? I've got something here that looks like a water diviner, but some say this can magically extend the Wi-Fi out into your garden. So making that another useful room around the house, the garden itself. Yeah, and the clever bit, this will introduce you to a new t to a technology called Power Over Ethernet. So that, that's basically powering devices using the network cable. So what you're saying there is that I wouldn't need to plug that into its own source of electricity. You're telling me I'm going to be able to put the power effectively down the Cat6 cable? Yeah, so that's an increasing technology you see a lot now used for wireless access points, CCTV cameras. So yeah, again, a useful, useful piece of kit to add to the bag. So this is the start in a series of videos that we're gonna produce on home networking, which we hope will both benefit the electrician, allow upsell into electrical uh, installations, whether that be standalone or within a rewire, and also add a few things in there that makes your life easier. And we like that, Edifix.